Hello everybody and welcome back to my let's play This will be a new let's play from with Shogun 2 It's gonna be my second campaign And nearly a week ago I asked you all to, mo to vote in the comments uh, About what clan you think I should be playing in this campaign And uh, the Usugi clan won by a pretty, <coughs> pretty big number The Usugi had the most votes with 41 votes And then on number 2 was Shimazu with 24 Takeda with 19 at number 3, and the Chosukabe at uh, number 4 with 15 votes. So the Usugi did win by a big number. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be playing in this new campaign. I'm going to be playing on hard difficulty like I said. Uh, I'm going to also be playing a short campaign instead of a long campaign. And I put down the unit numbers to large or army, army numbers to large, which is uh, the one below ultra which means all my Ashigaru units will now have 150 in each battalion instead of 200 um, so that's that's what's gonna happen I'm gonna be playing this new campaign with those minor minor few changes so uh, let's just get let's just get started 1545 this is Sengoku Jidai, the age of the country at war For 200 years, the Ashikaga shoguns have ruled from Kyoto. Great splendor and power were theirs. Now the overmighty clans no longer obey. The time has come for a new warlord to become shogun. Who will be victorious? Wesley lands have always provided for our people. Our enemies are many and envious. They threaten our borders and look for any weakness. Faith is our strength, our wellspring. Let others be corrupted. We have the guidance of heaven. They also fight, and fight well. But weapons alone do not win wars. Our merchants are cunning. Wealth buys many victories. Bishamonte, the war god, is working. Now is the time to defeat our enemies. All will bow to the Wesley clan. We wait no longer. Destiny calls. We are the Wesley. Following the death of Lord Tamekage. Dominion over our clan had befallen his son, Harukagi. This did not sit well amongst the great whiskey retainers, who found him weak of body and will. By their recommendation, Harukagi's young but well-respected brother has now been thrust into power. This has divided the clan. The Wesugi face only suffering at the hands of Harukage and his entourage. His forces must be crushed. Only then can we be one. Once our internal strife has been addressed, we must turn our attentions to the warmongering Jimbo clan of Echu province to the southwest. Although we are fortunate enough to be at peace with our remaining neighbors, Land must grow, and so we must choose our conquests wisely. Echigo has a strong seafaring tradition. We could use this to construct an invasion fleet with which to conquer nearby Sado Island. The precious metals abandoned there will greatly aid further expansion. Capturing Hukuk. 
Fukushima to the east should also be considered. Quality timber found there also serve our naval ambitions, maintain our alliance with the Yamanochi, and we can be sure of support when others turn against us. For as we gain influence, we are shown to draw the ire of Kyoto. Should the Shogun feel threatened, he will rally his subjects against us. In that event, we must be prepared to fend off all who would attack us. No matter from where that threat emerges, if the Shogun wishes to halt our expansion, let him come here and reckon with us himself. Alright, so let's just get started. Ah, uh, what's this? A coalition of low Usigi trainers destroyed at the uh... Okay, fair enough. In short, I take out these rebels and get a bonus. Okay, so this will be my first time playing as a Usugi clan. And yes, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I frankly don't give a shit. Um, <laughs> so this is, like I said, this will be my first uh, time playing the Usugi campaign. Uh, so I'm not quite sure where to go at first or what to do, but uh, <clears throat> it's not rocket science, so we'll uh, most likely find a way. But uh, I'm just saying that, so you don't, you won't be so surprised when I completely fuck up. And there's also a a, a chance that I could be losing this campaign. Because, like I said, I don't know what's gonna happen with these guys. If they're gonna backstab me or, or how the relationships start. Uh, all I know is that these guys are our vassals. But other than that, I am not sure. And, like I said, I will be... Uh, like I said before this, actually. In the last... Uh, the, the last part where I told you to comment. Uh, I will be going for monks in this campaign. Just to take an advantage of my... Uh, my uh, bonus bonus stats with monk warriors uh, so I will be researching my way down to uh, essence of the spirit and I'll be training some warrior monks so you can uh, you can already start looking forward to that I suppose um, I'm also gonna be using a lot of monks to my advantage gonna be trying to use my agents a little bit better than last time and uh, hopefully show you better gameplay overall but anyway we have to clear out these guys let me just take care of the buildings real quick um, so what do we want this would be great 30% um, increase income to tariffs uh, that means 30% more cash for every guy we, tr we trade with, every clan we trade with, so let's just get that out of the way first. Um, we want to make some allies. We already have these guys as allies because they're our uh, uh, vassals. But I can see that we're friendly with Mogami and friendly with Ashina. So let's just try to make an alliance here and secure our Welcome, borders. There is much to discuss for our mutual... Because we want to have secure borders, so we can only focus on one direction. We don't want to have to think about attacking this direction, but at the same time worry about not being uh, attacked from this this direction. So I want to try to ally as many as I can around me and go one way, and then from there we'll see what happens. Um, I also know that the Date clan spawns here, and they will most likely take out the Mogami clan. Uh, the same with. Uh, where they where they go? Same with Ashina clan. These guys will most likely be taken out by either the Satake or the uh, Takira, and they start here. Um, so we're probably gonna have to help our allies to fight their way out, so that we don't get enemies everywhere where our allies were. <clears throat> Let's see, Murakami. What's what's what are these guys? What the hell are they? They're allied to our our enemies. We can still make a trade a trade agreement. We want to have as many trade agreements as we can because of the bonuses that the Usugi gets. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 
and the Mogami want to ally them. Welcome, noble friend. So we now we secured a decent alliance, and we have safe borders all around us. Uh, these guys not so safe yet, but uh, the relationships will increase over time. Uh, and the Jimbo are the only ones in our way, so we're going to be attacking the Jimbo, maybe attacking the Hatakiyama over here, uh, and we'll see. Alright, so relationships fixed. Let's start studying. Uh, first, I want to know what buildings I need for these monks. Okay, so I need Naginata Dojo. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit. And these guys probably oh, okay. No big deal. Okay, so I need a Naginata Dojo, that means I need to go get down here in the Bushido tree. And I also need to get down here in the way of Chi. So let's just start in the way of Chi so we can uh, quickly get down here and uh, take the uh, max advantage of our monasteries and also minus 20% cost for, for monk actions which we'll, we'll be using a lot plus 10% success for monks yeah we're gonna have to go deep into uh, the way of chi all the way down here maybe down here I, I'm not sure about that um, yeah Let's think more about that later. Uh, and now to the buildings. What do we want? Obviously we want to focus on economy first. Oops. We don't need a castle quite yet because uh, this last slot won't really help us at all. Uh, we don't need any um, Naginata dojos or anything like that yet. We can't even make monks. So let's just stay with this. Um, average. That's fine. But this is what we want. So let's go ahead and get that. Um, also, let's go ahead and attack these guys. With our great leader, Usugi Kenshin. Oh, okay, that's great. I'm just looking at the... I'm just looking at the effects. Plus two morale for all units under this command. Under this man's command, I mean. Okay, so... Uh, oh, one more thing before... We go to war. Let's put this guy over to. No, we can't. I don't know why we can't. Probably have to wait one turn. Put him over as commissioner of finance because we want to get the most out of the economy. Speaking of the economy, uh, a good idea would also be to put this up to very high, let them be pissed for one turn, and put it back down just for the initial 600 income. Uh, so let's go ahead and attack these guys. Actually, first, I want to make a save. Alright. Looks, looks easy enough, but I am going to be showing you a real battle. It's the first battle, so why not? Uh, so I'll see you in the battlefield. Alright, welcome back. Just gonna adjust my microphone a little bit. Um, first thing I notice is that this map is pretty much 80% forest and that they spawned down here. So what I'm pretty sure that they're gonna do is that they're gonna take this hill uh, or maybe just camp in here. Either way it's gonna be a little bit messy for me because um, I really really hate forests because you can't see shit in them. But uh, I'm gonna try to position my forces here either way and uh, hope that they attack me. Although the chances are very low because I attack them. I attack them first, so they will most likely camp. But I'm gonna I'm gonna see if they wanna move. Looks like they're heading for this hill. They might very much take it. And just sit in there.
Yep, just like I said, they wanted that hill. But, that means we can take this hill. Let's just hope they don't attack us while we're doing so.